This is the Negro Ninja, and today I'm going to play a Reddit that pretty much proves that bitches have a program, okay? And it's not just bitches. Bitches are the world in the world is a bitch, but this particular bitch pretty much, you know, just illustrates how people in general act, okay, when you do something that goes against their programming, okay? Because nobody really follows the program as much as bitch anyway. All right, so let's let this play. The first story is titled, My 32F husband, 35M, had an emotional affair with a minor who was his patient. I'm leaving and reporting him, but... That shit had me rolling when I first heard it. Okay. She said she's reporting it. <laughs> no, you got to be careful with these hoes, okay? They'll get all into their emotions and have you thinking that whatever they're saying is legit until you hear that story okay but they just try to draw you in with oh okay you know nobody cries wolf as much as bitch okay let's listen to this just now processing this just to preface this i'm planning to meet with an attorney after which i am reporting him to the medical board his hospital and contacting the girl's parents. This is sick and I'm ashamed it took me so long to realize how disgusting this is. Now usually when people are telling the story on Reddit about some crazy shit that happened, they'll just be like, oh, this happened and they'll get straight to it. Okay. Or they would just give you the details that build up to it. She She's just kind of talking right here. All right, just trying to, you know, reel you in. Them hoes be fishing. Okay. Uh, right. There are other issues too. But this was what started the downward spiral six months ago, February. Anyways, we were in Paris and he was taking selfies but kicked me out of his selfie. And that is what started the downward spiral six months ago. Okay, that's that's really what this is about. Okay, he wanted a selfie to himself. He did not want her to take the selfie. Okay, and you know how, like I be saying, you know, when you ignore people and they get all mad and try to prey on you and shit, just want to stalk you and all that, that she got this going on right here. Okay, he hurt her narcissism and she plotting, I'm going to get you some type of way, nigga. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Turned out while we were in Paris, he was also texting this girl who is a 16U cheerleader. I took his phone and read through all their FB messages. He asked that she only contact him through FB because it's safer. All right, and let me pause that for a second. All right, and I also want to add that when you are a man, okay, it's just easy to make you look bad. Okay, it don't matter what you do. Okay, somebody can just make a video. You know the Negro ninjas on here just using profane language. Nigga just got done watching Pope Fiction. He on here cursing? Oh, my God, he's a man of God? Okay. <laughs> And that's still bad, though, but, they don't, you know, they'll make it seem like you did something blasphemous. You know, that's a sin, but it's not blasphemous unless you say God and then you'll say a curse word out there or something. But um, he only talked to her during times he was at work or late at night, very early a.m., so I never caught on. I broke it off there. Problem is we have two kids. One is mine from a previous relationship. I get along great with my ex and his family, and then we have a four-yo daughter together. So over two weeks, kid-free in Europe, he was able to convince me he was just helping her through depression. The All right. And one thing I notice about hoes that's insecure is they are very, when they start projecting, you already know what time it is. So for her to say that, then that means that she was probably helping niggas through their depression okay like i say hoes do bigger shit than that and expect for you to just suck it up oh man it's just my friend you need to be more secure stop being jealous there was nothing sexual said no inappropriate photos sent she said there was nothing sexual said no inappropriate photos sent however the conversations were highly inappropriate this totally goes against doctor patient relationship if she was 30, it would have bothered me much less. 
And like I said, when I first heard this shit, you know, once once it kind of dragged out, I'm like, I, I bet you five dollars that she really mad that this girl is 16 talking to her husband. Okay, chicks cannot stand these young hoes. They don't like these young hoes. Okay. And on top of that, this just proves that this is a program. Okay, we're living in lies. Why is she feeling so threatened if that's just a kid? Okay, now, if the dude was a pedophile, okay, why didn't disgust and pity, even like, you stupid motherfucker, Ugh. you know, people look down on homeless people worse than this right here. All right, so is she not looking at him like he just a pedophile okay she looking at him like oh you're talking to a younger chick she's better than me that's that's what it sounds like right here all right but i can't because she made such a huge deal if she was 30 i would be less mad get over this because of her age i still don't trust him he thinks i sh should be over it by now okay She's still tripping off the fact that this is young girl. Would you rather the nigga be gay? Okay, now once again, they just talking. Okay. <clears throat> now, you know, she was able to see the text message. Okay, he left it in his phone. Oh, to talk to me on Facebook is safer. But it is very careful how we use our choice of words. Now, if he would have elaborated, you, you know how it is. I'm a therapist or whatever, you know. But I guess he was trying to be somewhat discreet even what he was talking about just in case somebody tried to sue him or something you know how they do it <clears throat> oh just talk to me on facebook you know he probably should have said hey just talk to me on facebook that's where i'm at all the time they, you know but 16 i cannot be okay with that he could have like i said would you rather him be with a dog okay like i said she don't even mind if the nigga's gay all right she does not mind if the nigga's gay. Okay, and there's a reason why I'm pointing out stuff like that. Okay, and I'm hopefully I'm gonna remember to say it after this story's done. I've chosen an older woman his age. He chose a child. She is really on that shit. He could have chosen the older woman his age. He chose a child, which pretty much, um, she's telegraphing that she would not think this was a big deal if he was talking to a grown woman. Okay, though technically the girl is not her kid by God's design, but you get what I'm saying. I am seeing a therapist next week. Then that's the age of consent, by the way. He can a divorce attorney. I just need to get all this off my chest since it's not something I've told friends. I know this will devastate the family too because it's sick AF. I'm ashamed I stayed this long and didn't report it right away, but I was so in shock the reality hasn't hit me until now. A user in the comments said. All right. Like I said, oh, it's not inappropriate, but it was like she didn't even go into detail on how that is emotional cheating. You know, they're not. She, he's not talking to her. You know, she didn't say this because if that's what would have happened, then she would have just revealed it. Right. Oh, I'm hurt. That's what pissed me off. They're not talking about problems in the in their marriage or whatever the hell they got. Okay, he's not telling her how his wife is not a good lover in bed or how she doesn't listen to all his problems. You know, that shit the hoes be doing. Now, the funny thing about this is when I was a teenager, older women used to have emotional relationships with me. But I was too young to comprehend what was going on because people try to just teach you, oh, man, if it ain't sex, it's not cheating. You know, them lies that people tell you when you're a kid and all that stuff and stuff. But women used to do stuff like that all the time. They complain to you about like what whoever will listen to anything you know so like i said insecure women project themselves on the people okay all right and then on top of this the reason why i'm talking about this program shit is okay just due to the fact on how people in general act when a man is around a young woman okay like i said when i was talking to young girls on live stream you know how you'll be on instagram It'll tell you somebody's going live and they just, oh, request you. You you hit it. Sup. Hey, what's up? As soon as you get up there, brrr, everybody always got something to say. Now, funny thing about this is, even if I'm talking to girls that's like 20-something, it's going to always be flooded. Brrr, 
insults, insults, insults. So people try to get you however they can when they just see you with a chick or interacting with a chick that's responding to you in a positive manner. Or if she just, ch you know, that, that's just how they act. Like if she just decided to interact with you, it's always some plotting. Then she acting cool and then you handling her well and shit is real crazy. You know, so when I was just talking to a chick that was young, hey, how you doing? Negro Ninja, what's up? And they laughing at all the jokes, telling me I look good and stuff. Then they, I, I reported him. Soon as you get up there, they report you and shit. Okay, they, they don't play with you. Okay. They always ought to get to do it. And that's right there just tells me that that's a conspiracy right there. Okay, because you would see them put women up there that's like 30 years old. Don't nobody say nothing. Okay, let's take this a step further. It'd be bitches that's 12 and 13 hanging around bitches that's 35. Don't nobody bat an eye. Okay, now that's what I would be suspicious about. Why the fuck she would with this little young girl? Okay, and you know why I would bat an eye? Because you know they're teaching this bitch how to be a witch. Okay, they're teaching this hoe how to be a hoe. Okay, and I'm just talking shit. I ain't got nothing against the young chicks. Uh, you know how I got to talk my shit on here. Okay, that's the conspiracy. Remember that video a while back when I was, um, that was on the original Negro Ninja channel, um, about maybe four years ago, maybe. And, um, I was talking about this TV show. I think the video called There's No Loyalty With These Holes. Okay. Or only on, I forgot exactly how they put it. No, she said that only loyalty, no honor. I forgot what the hell. I know y'all remember that shit. And, you know, it was this old lady teaching this young girl how to be bitter. Like what you see in the songs. You know, all the songs is just old hoes teaching young bitches how to be bitter. Okay, teaching them how to make it hard for the next nigga. Okay, what do you expect? You expect everything. You don't love this nigga until you pay your bill. You know, all types of stuff. And they don't necessarily come at you that obvious you know because it's all types of genres of music but um that's what i was to be suspicious of and you know the funny thing is okay studies even show that a woman is most likely to molest somebody that a dude will okay because like i said a dude can you like i said just being a suave man all eyes is on you with holes okay you can't do shit nigga i was in barnes and over today two niggas I'm like, yeah, I can't do shit. Okay. And like I said, it's one thing for somebody to just notice, oh, that's funny, the nigga checking out a chick. And they'll just go by their business. These niggas do you like this. Okay, looking at you like you should be a... I'm like, get your gay ass on somewhere. We are not in the same world. Then it'd be, it was a young motherfucker doing that shit. Okay, and a motherfucker that was probably my age. I'm like, what the... I'm like, fuck y'all, I'm finna still look at this chick's ass. She's standing right in front of me with her foot pointed towards me. I'm finna stare her down. Yeah, I see the bowl. And I'm finna enjoy it. Fuck both of y'all niggas. Y'all niggas gay anyway. Fuck you. Okay. But that just shows you how, how deep this shit is. Okay. That was her programming. Okay, you're watching everybody through this one bitch. Oh, she's 16. I'm not 16 anymore. And then she's also thinking of the things she did as a 16-year-old whore. Bitch was probably fucking niggas that age. At that age, then trying to project that onto him because he ain't want to take no selfie. Bitch, you ain't even tell me how you look. This bitch didn't even tell me how she looked. Okay, she ain't even say if she was overweight or nothing. Trying to make her husband look like a criminal. I wouldn't be surprised if she fat. Okay, she's probably losing her edge because she don't want to hit the gym. But it's crazy out here, man. Okay, it is a conspiracy. Okay, once again, why was she not just looking at him in disgust if she really thought that he was, you know, a pedo or something? Okay, if she was his age, I would find it okay. Okay, and she just dropped it all right there, right then and there. And I can, and the funny thing about this is I was about to play another Reddit story to where a whore was done completely wrong, dragged through the mud in a stupid way. And she's still didn't leave a nigga right then and there. Okay, but what I for really forgot to say starting this is you can do what you want to do to these hoes. Okay, you can say what you want to say. You can insult bitches. Niggas can hit a hoe upside the head. Niggas can steal a hoe's money. You went in my pocketbook? They don't give a fuck. Okay, now I'm not saying you should do this type of dumb shit. 
you would never hear me advocate no dumb shit like that. Okay. But these things don't put a bitch in her feelings. As long as you don't put a hoe in their feelings. Okay. You can walk all over her, you bitch, but you better not step on that insecure landmine. Don't do that shit. That's a done deal. They go ballistic. Okay. All right, so apparently it seems like they get these hoes a part of that program by making them insecure towards a younger chick. Okay. All right, and then you have to understand this right here. You know, going back to what I'm talking about, if I'm, like when I was on Instagram, some people would just report me. Oh, she, you know, if a girl guessed me that's younger than me or something, I'm reporting him. Okay, so... um. You know, because they ask me my age, too. You look young. And then I just really get mad then. But, um, what was I about to say? Hold on, I got to pause it. Okay, yeah, I remember now. So, they let a lot of older dudes on there. Okay, but a lot of them niggas would get up there. I don't know what it is about these young, I mean, these, um, there be some crazy niggas on Instagram. So, if a young girl allowed a lot of them up there, the first thing they do is whip out their dick and start beating. I said, like, what the... I said, why you keep letting niggas up here do that shit? Okay, because man, this chick that I'm talking about, or these chicks I'm talking about, had a fairly decent type of relationship for what we do. We just talk to each other on here and joke around. I said, why the fuck y'all be doing? You letting them niggas up there. Mind your own business. That's my shit. You my mama? I was like, so y'all don't report these type of niggas. I said, so what about y'all in the comments? Why do y'all let them get away with this type of shit? And then you're trying to get me in trouble. That's because they don't speak English. You don't, you speak English. I'm like, but I don't do no stupid shit like that. I'm respectful. Okay. <laughs> it just, they would never do that shit. Okay. They speak English well enough to know what the fuck they doing. And then who gives a fuck about English? Like you going to come over here and be an immigrant from Mexico. And then the officer, oh, he don't speak English. I'm not going to arrest him for stealing. I'm not going to arrest him from trespassing. He don't speak English. But you, on the other hand, crossing the street, nigga, you speak English. And you should have told me before I saw this nigga. You know, that don't make any sense. All right. All right. And keeping it back on the chicks. And like I say, you know, as long as you don't get them in their feelings, you can do what you want to do. Um, you know, you being competent will put a hole in their feelings because you're going to say things that make her think and reflect. Oh, I didn't know I was a whore. Oh, my God. It's, 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 it's not like the songs. It is. I've never been called a whore in a non-glorified way. Oh my God, I just never thought about that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Niggas. Hmm. He just made me realize that I'm just not that nigga because he got a young chick that is comfortable with him despite the fact that he's two, a couple of decades older. <laughs> so, um, they're just, they all respond the same way. Want to get in their little emotions. <laughs> And, but you would never see them act that way towards young women talking to even a bitch that's like 60 something they wouldn't find that weird okay and then hoes walk around acting a suspect be grabbing the chick's asses and shit you know how girls be touching on each other and shit but let a nigga just hey how you doing <laughs> alright and it also just goes to show you okay when you really stop to think about it, it's all about who can be in these chicks ear. Okay. And we, you know, it's, it's a lot of fear. So it was more than just that that was going on with this lady in this Reddit story. That was a demon making her act like that. Okay. Now, once again, a lot of people is not really godly people. Okay. So all it takes is just one trigger. All the demon have to do is see potential. Hmm. Okay. Despite the fact that, that it wasn't even his intentions. This nigga is a doctor or whatever. Okay. He just talking to it like somebody gonna explain right here after I press play. But um they can just see the potential. You keep that you we shouldn't let this be a thing. Nobody should get comfortable with older men talking to younger women. Okay, because they know that they will learn from us, okay, in the way they should learn from their fathers. Okay, and they're gonna one of the things that they're really afraid of is we're gonna teach them how not to frustrate us as they get older. All right, so let me let this play real quick. I am sorry, but am confused. You say there was nothing sexual said, no inappropriate photos sent. However, the conversations were highly inappropriate. Which part was inappropriate? Cause if you don't have any solid or tangible evidence, then there will not be a case when you report. 
Because he wasn't trying to hide shit. <laughs> he was just, he was just talking. The evidence you have provided is him asking her to only message him through Facebook because it's safer. He could say that he didn't want to break the patient-doctor confidentiality because his other media platforms were compromised. All I'm saying is you need to dig deeper and not let your emotions overtake your rationality. Another user said, I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm not supporting you, nor am I supporting your husband. I just think that not enough information is being given to come to a solid conclusion. So, what I'm getting from you is that he's some sort of therapist. Could you give examples of some inappropriate messages that were shared? If these inappropriate messages started from six months ago, it most probably would have progressed to sexual by now, so maybe you're reading into it too much? Nigga, it would have progressed into something sexual way before six months. Therapists have a strict confidentiality agreement unless the therapist is convinced the patient will harm either him, herself, or others. This means that maybe the girl has revealed something personal to the therapist and is unwilling to text him on medias that her parents regularly check. So, in that respect, it may be safer to text on FB. Furthermore, if you're concerned about your husband and his patient getting too close, Therapists often share their own personal lives in order to get on a personal level with the patient in an attempt to get them to open up more. So, sending pictures of him on his trip may just be an in with her. I'd also like to note a tone of bias I'm sensing in your messages. It sounds like you're jealous of the girl. You've already said that you wouldn't care if she was his age, but an emotional affair should remain constant despite age. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, bitch, you talking about an emotional affair, but you... I'm telling you, man, you gotta, you gotta watch these holes. Oh, emotional affair, but he's talking to someone younger that is superior. Also, what was the relevance or significance of mentioning that she's a cheerleader? The ish... I wouldn't be surprised if that's a girl ripping in on this chick. <laughs> Two is that you think he's dallying with a minor, which should be just as bad whether she's a cheerleader or not. The next story. Okay. And like I said, them insecure hoes be projecting. Okay. And like that pretty much just proves that a chick is most likely to do these things that she's accusing him of. Okay. Oh, he's dabbling with a minor. Just stupid. But that's all I got to say since this is 22 minutes and this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today, Negro out.